Good morning, good morning. This is Pink Girly. Lori from the Pink Girly channel, I should say. And it's a little dreary here in South Jersey this morning. And I'm just, um, I've been wanting to do this. So I'm just, while I'm waiting for people to come on in, I'm, I want to map out who streams when and what times because I can never remember. And I've been meaning to do this, and I had this old calendar page, and I thought maybe uh, some of you in chat can help me with some of this. All right, now I'm going to set up my phone. So good morning, good morning to everyone that's coming in. Hi, Judy. Good morning. Good morning, Barb. How are you? Okay, let's see. I'm only able to be at this stream. Okay. Oh, very fun. Ah, that's a good time. That's cool. So I'm trying to work on this. I thought I'd work on this a little bit while folks come in. I'm trying to map out. And so hopefully I can then maybe put this on my community tab so i'm trying to map out who streams when so so far i have um well i should start sunday who do i have? okay so magical touch is carol but i don't know what time she comes on sunday and then i've been trying to do sunday at 11 30 now i'm doing eastern time and then later this evening, Mary comes on. And I th see, this is where I have a problem. Because I don't know what time. I think Sunday for me, it's like 7. But I'll just leave the, I'll leave the time blank. So then Monday, I've got Dee Dee at 9.30. Janet Nash at 9. Janet Young, I think she comes on. Carol comes on at 6 a.m. Is that Eastern, Judy? I didn't think she came on that early. I would just say, I think Janet Young is like 1 p.m. Then I've got Mary for uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday mornings. Kathy Berg at 10 Kathy Arbor at 1. This is on Tuesday. And then Beth comes on, I think, around 6. And they're all Eastern times. Good morning, Angie. And then again, Wednesday, we have Dee, Dee at 9.30. And I think um, able to rejoice. Okay. Okay, that makes more sense. All right, so Carol, you're saying... 9 a.m. That would be Eastern. Okay, cool. Thank you. And then uh, I don't know if Joyce still streams. And then Becky was coming in on Wednesday sometimes. I don't know if she's got a regular spot if, or if she just pops on, um, you know, as she can. And then we've got Rosemary on Wednesdays and Thursdays. Right? And I'm not sure what time she starts. Okay, Joycey comes on 10 West Coast. So I take three. Um, hmm. 10. Because I thought she was like, for me, she was like in the afternoon, like two-ish or so. So if it's 10 for you. All right. So Rosemary is 7 Central. So for East Coast, that makes her 8 for me. So I'm going to put Rosemary 8 p.m. Yes, every day of the week. Good morning, Devin. 
Oh, Devin, I love those foamy stamps you got. Cool, cool, cool. And that balloon thing. Woo! Girls, you have to check out. If you haven't checked out Devin's um, um, channel, you need to do that. She's got some cool stuff going on over there. Yeah. Okay, so now we're here. Okay, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. All right, Thursday, I know Kathy Arbor is 1 p.m. Now, I'm doing all Eastern because that's where I am, and I get confused enough. I'm also missing, um, like, I have Lisa Monday night. Oh, you're welcome, Deb. Uh, Lisa Monday night, but there again, I'm not sure... Hey, Lori Love, good morning. I'm not sure what time Lisa is Eastern. Um, and I'm missing um, Tanya. I've got to get Tanya in here. Mm. Tanya is Tuesday. I didn't even leave enough space, but I got to put Tanya on here. I think she's like, okay, Lisa is 7 Eastern. Thanks, Lori. And uh, let's see. I know we've got Colleen. CK Art. I love her new name. Okay, now she used to come on at 10, but I think she comes on more like 11 now. So I'm going to put 11 a.m. for her. And then we've got Mary is Friday evening. She comes on and Mary Sunday evening. Tanya, 2 p.m. Okay, so we're going to put 2 p.m. And I'm going to put a little asterisk there so I know to move her up on the grid. And then we've got Beth again on Thursday, correct? And I'm thinking Beth starts around 6 p.m. Eastern. Okay, I knew they were on, but I wasn't sure if PM was on Sunday or Saturdays. So PM artist is Sunday, 10 Central. All right, so PM art. So that would be 11 a.m. Eastern. Uh, Okay, Shauna comes on on Wednesdays. Oh, okay. All right, so let's get Shauna in here. So we've got Shauna. We'll get a time for her. All right, we've got Ann and Deb. So let's get them on Sunday. And I can always ask them when I see them. But if I get them on the grid, I'll know what to ask. Okay, Colleen's time is right. Okay. Shauna is Wednesday at 4.30. All right, 4.30. This is great. Okay, 4.30 p.m. Welcome, welcome to everybody who's coming in. All right, now Saturday. Somebody's on Saturday morning, are they not? Is is Kara? I know uh, Magical Touch is on Sunday, but doesn't she do a Saturday as well? Good morning, Janet Nash. How are you? Okay, let's see. Bum 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 bum. All right, so Mary on Friday night. I'm thinking she comes on 7 Central. So I'm thinking she's 8 Eastern. I'm going to put that in there. 8 p.m. I think that's correct. Oh, Freddy, Freddy. Okay. Carol. Oh, I just missed what you said about Carol. Carol has 9 a.m. on. Okay, good. All right. So I'm going to put Carol. 9 a.m. 
Okay, so I've got her for nine on Sunday and Saturday. Cool, cool, cool. Now, Tanya usually does a Sunday as well, right? When she's in town. So Tanya's in here too. And then Lisa has Thursday. She's on Thursday sometime, is she not? Putting Beth in at six. This is a great start. Mary seven. Oh, Lori, you are the one. You, you know them. Okay. All right. So then that's, is she seven? Is that Eastern, Lore? Okay. I'm going to make it seven Eastern. And then, so then Mary on Sunday, does she come on later? Because I thought there was one where she's later. Okay. I need to get Lisa in here on I'm just going to pop Lisa in here on Thursday because I'm pretty sure she comes on like two or three on Thursdays. I'm pretty sure. Okay, that's a good start. And as we go, if, if something pops in your mind, tell me. I'm going to add it to the calendar. And then hopefully, Kathy Burke, Kathy Burke. Okay, I had 11. All right, Kath, make it 1030. Will do. And good morning, Kathy. Tanya, two on Sundays. Oh, yeah, I put her in the Saturday. Okay, so we've got Tanya at two on Saturdays. Lisa and Tanya on Thursdays at two. All right, Ellen T at 2 p.m. Wonderful. And then Lisa's on Monday night. Okay, cool. All right. So, there's a few of us in here, so let's get started. Good morning, good morning. And if you think of anything else, we can just pop it in, but that's a that's a great start. I can always add to it and update it. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay, last time we were together, we made a list of zines, and so I thought I'd start with a zine this morning. And so I'm going to ask someone to put in a number from 1 to 26. The first number I see, that's what I'm going to... We go to my list, and that's the kind of zine I'm going to make this morning. Now, this is uh, just some, um, a, um, what do you call it, a digifile that I purchased. Hey, good morning, Dixie. 18, 18, that's the first number I see. Cats. Woo, woo, woo. All right, so right here. We've got cats on my list. Can you see cats? That's what I'm going to do. All right. So I just got this little printed paper. I got this digi file from. G -Kur. I apologize for my nails. I lost a nail here. I noticed it this morning, but I'm going to be working with ink and stuff. I didn't want to put on a new set. So. I apologize. <laughs> and if you can see my my palm, the backs of my hands are all bruised. So if you notice that and you're wondering, I was trying to dig trash and napkins out from between my car seats. I'm a big old mitt, just don't really fit in there. And I ended up bruising <laughs> both of my hands. All righty. Okay, so I'm going to fold my zine. lock of this here oh dag it dag nab it i just knocked my little my little uh coochie cooch down there my little bone folder i like these little ones i got these with uh, martha stewart's scoreboard and i just love these little ones okay so I'm going to get my zine folded. I picked this out because I figured, uh, let me do the flower side out. I figured this would work for most things we have on the list. So let's see how this goes. So I did my hot dog. Now, of course, this has a little white edge, but I'm okay with that.
Who, me, Barb? Me, Barbara? <laughs> See, now already, um, it's not, it's not the best. Do, 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 do. Of course, I did have some really cute, um, and I still do, die cut of cats, which would look really cute in here. And I'm doing my little folds here. Hope everyone's doing well this morning. Angie, are you feeling better? I meant to ask you, uh, we were at, uh, some of us were at the uh, virtual market this weekend. And gosh, you get so busy doing stuff there. I forgot to ask Angie how she'd been feeling. Okay, so now... I've got it folded, um, what, what we call hamburger, you know, the wide side. For those that don't know, and then I'm just going to cut on that fold line into that first fold line. And then I'm going to do the smush, the squishy smush. And then I like to just figure out which way. If it's just, it, it always just seems to be a way that it folds and feels good. Oh yeah, yeah. I saw I saw that. That stamp um foam buddy or whatever, that stamp buddy really kind of looked cool, but I guess you would have to use a lot of paint. Oh oh Barb. Well maybe you can pop back in. Okay, hey, that folded down pretty good. All right, so on our list, it was cats. So I'm thinking, <clears throat> I know I have a little cat stamp, but I don't really know quite where that is. So when I think about cats, <laughs> Maybe I'll just, um, draw. Wonderful, Ange. That's great. Oh, I'm glad. And I mentioned, um, I think the last time I screamed that my granddaughter was having her tonsils removed. She's six. She did really well. Yes, I did, Angie. You are adorable. And you need to smile more, sweetie. I know I don't like to get my picture taken either. But that would be a beautiful picture if you just had a little bit of a smile. So my granddaughter did well. She called yesterday, so I got to speak to her. And she said, Ama, I didn't feel anything. And I didn't wake up during the operation. I think that's what she was worried about. Because she had said to her parents, um, I don't want to be hurt. <laughs> so she said some days she couldn't talk too much because her throat hurt, but she's feeling much better and she's doing her schoolwork at home. Uh, I guess maybe, maybe this week she'll be back at school. Maybe a few, maybe Wednesday, something like that. We'll see. Anyway. Oh, gosh. Uh, let's see. Angie's picture was, gosh, what time was it? It was late, right, Angie? I mean, it was, it was more towards the end, Laura. I mean, it was like, let me see if I can think of a good, oh, gosh. Because she, she, she did um, playing cards for a good four hours, and then there was a break, and, uh, Gosh, I'm, I'm going to say it was easy, 10, 11 o'clock Eastern on that video. Yeah, she's doing well. I sent some coloring books and some crayons, so that'll, that'll keep her and her brother occupied for a little bit. All right, so this feels pretty good here. So I have a cat that I like to draw um, a couple of... Um, couple of places 
Yeah, I think it's mo oh, just it's really close to the end for sure. You get to see our little Ange. <clears throat> All right, let's see here. I'm kind of nervous just to do to go right in with a um a pen. So maybe I'll just play it safe and let me see if I can find myself a, a pencil. I never have what I want right here when it comes to pencils. I don't know what I do with all my pencils. Sometimes the eraser part gets down and then I don't really see them. And they're kind of like right in the, right in the face. I like to be able to erase. Here we go. This little guy will do. Okay, so these are just going to be some funky. No, I just have paintbrushes in my car. I have paintbrushes and, you know, a couple other things. Well, I had a, I had a day out with my sisters. And, um, all right, so let's see. I usually start with. The curvature of the cat's head. And I don't want to spend a lot of time on this. So let's just make a little. And I'm just going to make a little. Fat, fat body kitty. And I like to put sunglasses on this guy. So I always just go like this. And then I do a little triangle. For the nose, you probably can't really see that. And I'm using yellow paper, so that doesn't make it any better. And give this guy a little, little smile. And then I always do these big sunglasses, kind of like this. And then I have to give them a tail. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I really, the cat ears, I think I've got them a little too far apart. Let's move those ears up a bit. Let's do it more like that. That looks a little better. Now let's give them a tail. Like that. And let's give them a heart here. Have fun, Barb. Okay. Now let's just take... Um, Wonder if I have a sharpie here. <laughs> What's he watching on TV? Is he watching a some kind of a sport game, sporting thing? Oh, that's too big of a too big of a sharp a sharpie. Excuse my reach. How's this guy? This one might work okay. Okay, the ears are a little funky. And I always just give them black shades. A soccer match. All right. Let's 
All right, now if you can see, can you see the background of my paper? <laughs> I usually take a little more time. <clears throat> of course, he doesn't have any arms. I'll give him a couple feet here. Oh, they should have been down further. I'm just going to say cool cat on this, this guy. And I might put some uh, ink around the edges before we're done. Okay, so then when I'm sit when I think about other cats and what cats might like. Okay, I'm missing a lot of chat. Okay. I hope you're feeling better soon, Laura. Yeah, get rest. Okay. I think about cats liking um you know, fish, and I mean, I'm really not a cat person. We never have had cats. My husband's a little allergic. So maybe here, I'll just make a little banner. And um, I'm going to make little dangly things here. And I'm going to put little fish. I'm going to put a little fish this way. Little fish this way. And then let's put, um, we'll give them the same kind of ears. I'll make this cat littler. And I'm going to make him a real skinny cat with a long neck. That kind of a deal. And then I'm going to give him a curly kind of tail. And just going to do a rough little table here. We'll put a bowl. And then I'm going to put a big old fish here. I guess I should make him a striped bass. <laughs> okay, what are we saying here? My favorite cat quote is, if you want the best seat in the house, move the cat. Yeah, that's true. And then here I'm going to say, okay, what's it say? Well, how do you, what do they say? Uh, there's something fishy going on. There's something fishy about this. Okay, I'll say that. There's something fishy. about this I don't write so I don't print so well either I think I'm going to do this ooh, 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 ooh. give us a little kind of border it's pretty junky all right now how about if we do a, a cat in a flower garden This cat, let's make him have a big head.
head like this. And we'll do the same kind of body. We'll give him a big tail like that. And then let's do some flowers. Oh, yeah, we could use a little mouse. Okay, maybe on the next page. All right, let's see. Let's do some of these doodly things. And let's just make them all the same. I should have grabbed out a stamp. That would be cute, the little flower stamps. But let's just do little crazy petals. And I'll do these so good. I really have to think about these to get those. Petals looking good. Look better if you give them a bigger center once you mess them up. Woo! Maybe we'll put a little, a couple of little birds here. I think this guy needs some eyelashes. Okay, who did I miss? Kristen, did Kristen come in? Good morning, good morning. All right, so we'll make that. Now, let's see, what are we gonna do on this one? These flowers are really pretty on this paper. Um, G. Kerr has some really pretty, I don't know if you can really see it. This is a pale yellow. I have hopes of doing a yellow, um, journal huh. so i've been saving for a while to put one together all right girls i need a couple ideas so i need something for the back cover and i need something for here Lori, try the triangle nose with the base at the top oh okay all right dev i think i got you all right so let's see if i do a mouse Let's put some, let's put that there. And let me, I wanted it to go the other way. So there's one little mouse. Cat stretching with a mouse on his back. Too late for that, I went ahead on his bum. Let's see. See, I'm much better if I can look at something and then um, try to recreate it. So I've got the mouse kind of running away. So let's do... Too late. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think to wait for chat, but I can do the, um, so you're saying flat part here and the news down that way. Hmm. 
I want to make his eyes like he's looking over there. That's not happening on this one. I'll have to get out a white Pasca. He doesn't look like a cat. He looks like a dog. Let's give him my arm. He's going to try to catch the mouse. He's going to reel him in. Give him whiskers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about whiskers. I need a lighter. I need a lighter marker. Oh, this guy's not looking good. He's looking a little. He's looking a little weird. Yeah, half dog, half cat. <laughs> okay, let's um, put some grass or something here. Try to try to save this one. This one's really looking weird where's my maybe i can make his eyes look better if i see if i can grab a white if this one works this is some kind of a white paint pen thing yeah it's got a little hairy little hairy thing over here oh don't you hate when they don't um oh here we go and it's like that watery part you know it's not really the paint hey carol good morning that's a little better I can add that, make that better. Okay, and then here I'm going to say that's that's real. Um, I do better with paint, with white paint. And then I'm going to say here, gotcha. I have a little white paint here. Let's see. Let me get a little bit of that. I think it'll be better. Now I've got to find me a little. Oh, I know. I'll just use a data. A data. That's a little better. Yeah, I remember watching Tom and Jerry. Ange, I didn't think you were that old. Let's try this. Again. I could have done that better too, Laura. Come on. Well. I can come back and put more on that. I was thinking about on the back doing like a Cheshire cat. I better do that in pencil. He had that great big grin, right? Oh, yeah. You, you're, you're young, Ange. I think of Tom and Jerry as being like, you know, well, I guess there's reruns. All right. So I'm not remembering exactly Cheshire cat, but 
we're just going to give them a round face, maybe a little rounder like that. And then he had that great big grin, right? With all those teeth. I should have looked up a picture of the Cheshire cat. I don't want to spend all, all morning on this either. I've got other things I need you to help me with. All right, so Dev says do it this way. Well, he's scary. Well, he doesn't have to be the Cheshire. He could be, you know. You know, resemble him. He doesn't have to be him. Let's give him some better ears. This is just for fun. I do a much better Grinch. All right. So what I was thinking today is that I wanted to work. I need some background pieces to make. I would need to make some little thank you cards. So I thought I would mess around with my alcohol inks. I'm just going to say smile. You're on candid camera. Oh, this is so horrible. All right, let's see. What's today? Today is three. Oh, where's my computer? Three, six. My goodness, 2022. And I was thinking I need some color around there. So I think the quickest way to do that is just to grab a couple of my distress crayons. I'm just going to grab my crackling campfire. Just put a little color around the front and the back. I've got a damp uh, baby wipe. Just gonna mush it. I'm just gonna mush it. Is Carol not well? I saw she canceled this morning. Oh, Carol, I hope you're not sick. I think I have a heavy hand with those crayons. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's not good. So I, it felt like uh, 65 or 70 here, and then we started with rain. So I was enjoying some of that warmer weather. Okay, he looks better. Let's see what we want to give this little guy here. I think I'm going to do the flower one. Let me do a green. I'm just going to put a little green in here. This little kitty. This little kitty. Looks 
a little better. Just take a little off the side. Okay. Now let's see, what can I do here? I think a fish and I'm thinking of blue. Let's get a little blue going around here. Like a little bit of water. Welcome, welcome to everybody coming in. Okay, so I have some photo paper. I have some alcohol inks. I don't have many. And then I've got a few more acrylic inks. So I was thinking about messing around with some of them as well. And, you know, kind of just making a mess. Making a mess. Now, let's see. I think I have something pink. Let's do a little pink on this one. So I think we can all agree these cats are not the best. But see, if you put a little bit of color or you could stamp, you know, you could certainly spend more time. But you can make these. You know, look cuter than when you started. This guy just needs something with his, his little uh, his little eyeballs here. Get out that white paint again. And earlier I was working on a calendar to get everybody's that streams on my calendar. So I think we got a good start on that. And then I also, <clears throat> I have a straw. So I was thinking I might move some of that ink around, but I'll just see how it goes. So I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. Um, well, we'll see. I have my jelly plate that I can grab very quickly. But I will preface it by saying I, I don't know what I'm doing. I've only messed around a few times. That, cat's, that cat is crazy looking, man. It's crazy looking. Let's give him a couple of little white spots in his eyes let's give him some white whiteness teeth it can be a good tooth toothpaste to add All right. Okay. So let me put this stuff off to the side. Get my pens back where they belong. <clears throat> Get my paint back over there. Now I was listening to this gal uh, last night, just uh, seeing I had in my mind. Oh, ears. I didn't even think about ears on the mouth. Oh, yeah, Devin. Let's see. Yeah, that looks better, right? Oh, yeah, Deb. I forgot all about the mouth ears. Thank you. Oh, yeah, that looks much better. Thank you. Bye, Janet. Have a good day. Okay, so we've got our cool cat. 
there's something fishy about this. And then just this little kitty in the garden. And here he's catching a mouse. Gotcha. And the last guy, smile. Cool. <laughs> All right. So what I have here. Um, let me put all this other jazz back in case I should want to use it again. I'll be able to find it. And now this might be a little fiddly because I'm using white photo paper. But in here, in this little tray, I just put the little, uh, the few little alcohol inks that I have. And then I have this Amsterdam. This is a uh, acrylic ink. And then I've got this box of acrylic inks as well. So I think I'll, I'll mess around with those a little bit too. But what I'm thinking is I'm just going to take my photograph paper. I have my alcohol. I have some alcohol in here that I'll spritz on. And then I'm just going to drip some colors on and see if I can move it around, either with my heat gun or with a straw. You know, I, I just, I really don't know what I'm doing. And I'm um, trying to see, I have a, like a small fluorescent light above me. I wish I could figure out how to get rid of that. But anyway, I digress. <clears throat> so I was thinking I would drip you know that and move it around on the paper now the, the sheets are eight and a half by 11. yes i, I have how could i not remember a mouse should have his ear i was focused on that ugly cat now i'm disappointed and when i pulled these out my gold of course i love the gold and the shimmery and the glittery stuff there wasn't much in here it had and it had fallen over and i didn't have it capped right of course so i've spritzed a little bit of alcohol in there so i'm not sure how that's going to go so i'm open to suggestions but this lady that i was listening to last night um she was saying something about putting some gesso down on your photo paper so i thought i would try that too but i don't know what that's gonna do so i'm just gonna oh is it dev i'll have to get more i mean i know the little bit that i've used it i thought it was really cool so right there you go that poor little niecey all right, so this is going to probably, yeah, see, I'm going to get that striping until I get some color down. So the little bit that I watched, uh, these, the people just put some alcohol down on their surface and then just started to drip colors. And I'm just thinking, like, I did this a while ago, these, like, little tiny cards, you know, without much rhyme or reason. So I thought I would fuss around with that today. So. Bye, Ange. Now she also spritzed. Um, Okay, see you in 15 minutes. <laughs> All right, so this is Pinta Alcohol Ink Baja Blue. And then this is Sun Bright Yellow. She also spritzed with water. Now, I just picked this, um, a pack of this photo paper up at a goodwill i'm sure it's not you know great quality i'm going to try to stick to three colors i'm going to put in senorita magenta so she spritzed with alcohol she put alcohol drips on first and then she put on uh, she spritzed with some water 
and then I watched another gal. She didn't really speak. She was just um, working, you know, and the camera was rolling. And then she just showed you what she had at the end. Maybe I should have. That kind of looks like a clown suit, doesn't it? So I'm open to suggestions. Like I said, I haven't really done much of this. This slide will just be a hot mess. I did bring a straw. Oh, fuzzies. Now, Deb, I was watching you with um, some alcohol ink on your jelly plate. Now, the, the one girl that I watched, she used her heat gun. But she was really trying to control where it went. Yeah, see, that's just going to dry it, right? That's not going to... Don't pass out. Okay, yeah, that would be fun, wouldn't it? I probably would get a lot of views. So will it move more if I spray water? Oh, yeah. Well, that's, that's really uneventful, isn't it? It's all about the views. You got that right. Uh-huh. Okay, Judy. Okay, so that really didn't do much of anything. I know it's a really big surface. I'm going to try the, um, maybe what I should do is cut a piece of this in half. That might be a better, a better way to go. Things I... really don't know what I'm doing. All right, so let's cut this. Let's start with a smaller surface. Now, instead of spraying, maybe what I will do is do I have? Oh, I know. I'll get a little um. I'll get a little tiny container here that I can put some alcohol in, and then just use one of those little pipit things. So the alcohol is really condensed. So let me just try one little spot. And let's, oh, I really like that blue. Okay, so that's moving a little bit. This is Passion Purple. Got some crumblies. Oh, that's very dark.
Now, once it's dry, is it dry? Like it won't move anymore after that, Dev? Do you know? You probably know. Sorry, I'm really blowing hard here. Can you hear that noise? Okay, I, I watched also, I should have gotten some saran wrap. Do I have, oh, I have some right here. Okay, so that seems like when I hit it, it dries pretty quick. It will always move more if you add more ink or alcohol. Okay. So if I... Let me get some, um, let me get some plastic wrap because I want it to be more like a background, not so much like, you know, ink blotches that you, uh, have to tell the doctor what you see. So if I spritz this again with the alcohol and I put more of this. Deb, I don't know if Judy's here right now. She was going to go take some meds. I don't know if she's back yet. Yeah, could be. Because, like I said, I got this at the uh, at Goodwill. I don't know if it's a, a good quality or. Oh, it looks like a hot mess too, huh? Okay, I'm going to drip some more down here. Yeah, because it seems like it's really soaking in. And I'm using the shiny side. That's the side I should use, correct? going to put various oh there she is old judykins now on this side let me put some Orange. This ought to be pretty gross, huh? Woo! I'm going to smush this with the Move it around with my fingers. Well, that's kind of neat. I think that's kind of neat. That blob right there. I'm kind of preserving my gold because I don't think I got much in here. But gold helps everything. I have that, that gold that, I think it's the same thing that Mary uses, that thick gold paint. I wonder if I could add that.
See, I don't really have anything that I think I could use to move this around. Oh, that looks cool. That wouldn't dry it. You know, all I have is my heat gun. Well, that's not too bad. That made it look better. Right? I know I need to get some more of that gold. But I didn't realize my container had tipped over. But that doesn't look too bad. Try. All right, now this gal said something about putting gesso down. So I'm going to put some gesso down. Let's see if I can get it open. There we go. Now the first one here, I'm just going to scrape some on with a, an old card. Now this is... You know, you're, we're not going to really be able to see it till I add something else to it. So I'm going to give that a minute. Use my heat gun, and I don't want to melt my photo paper, so I have to do this very gingerly. Thanks, guys. Oh, flammable. Yeah. All right, let's see what this does. Let's use orange. Now, I'm just going to put the ink down first this time. And I'm going to do just dots across. And maybe this won't do anything with a gesso on it. No clue. And then I'm going to add this magenta. Oh, it's getting a little crazy. And then let's add a little alcohol on that. Can you see where that, where it's hitting the gesso, it's light, it's getting lighter, almost like a hot pink. So that's kind of cool. It's, it's moving slow, but it's moving. I like those two colors together. I'm going to do that again. You got that right, Judy. I agree. And doing stuff on your plate is one thing and you know but she, her ideas are like amazing 
Oh, Dev, that's an idea. Excellent. Let's do that. We'll do that next. See, she's an idea girl. Like, I can do some stuff. People say to me, oh, but yeah, your stuff is beautiful. Uh, yeah, but you know what? I see it somewhere else. Devin is one of those idea girls. Okay, now I'm going to add more alcohol to those spots. Now my paper's curling, so it's kind of running. Running out of town. Wonder if I just short little bursts of air. I should have gotten out my Gosh, where's that at? I, in my garage, I have a little um, air compressor. I used to use it to uh, base coat ceramic pieces when I was doing them in bulk. That's kind of cool. Still got some more runnies. Okay, let's add. Um, I didn't add any white. Let's see. I wonder if the white will do anything. Being as it's so dark. <clears throat> and then we'll put a little gold. I mean, I don't need to buy another thing, but those foam stamps you were using the other day, or was that earlier today? Oh my gosh, they were so cool. They kind of look like little amoebas. It looks so cool, like real gla like glass. It almost looks like glass. Deb is a consultant for Tim. She's just too shy. Oh. I knew she was special. Okay, let's hit those spots with a little this gold. I wonder if I took, um, this is just an old, uh, knitting needle. Now, what, what do you think if I put, you see a poodle with an evil face? What do you think um, would happen if I put like gold paint on there? That's kind of cool. I'm not sure this is the best idea for me to use as the background for thank you cards, but it sure is cool. Tail on the left, pretty puffy. I didn't see it. 
Oh, that's still, you know, that's still wet. It's not moving, though. You see it, Judy? I don't see it. Maybe if I look at the camera. Oh, yeah, there's the... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. So they look like the eyes. This is the tail. That's what you're saying. Then he's got feet. He's got two little ears. <laughs> Muzzle. Big old nose. Big old nose. That's true, Dev. Cool. Cool. Okay, so let me grab. I have a little stencil. My stencils are all away, but I did have a couple over here that I found in a rogue box. I might be able to make work. Let's see. Let's see here. All right, now I'm going to cut another piece because the larger piece, that's just, that was just silly thinking of working on that big piece. But hey, you know, live and learn, right? So let's just wipe up some of that jazz. Alrighty, let's see here. Five and a half. Doesn't have to be exact, but. All right, now, of course, I just dip that in the gesso. <clears throat> now, let's see. I've got this one. like those so I'm just going to take the gesso that I put out here and scrape in is this what you mean Dev maybe you meant paint it in to fill in all those shapes of course i bet your texture paste would be cool too i guess that would stick to the photo paper i'm just going to run this right off the edge i'm going to do all of these all of this And then I've got these circles here. I love circles. Now I'm going to hit this with the heat gun before I pick it up. It's hard to see. I was wondering how it would look if I did some with black gesso. What do you think about that? Especially if I had more of the gold. Oh my gosh, wouldn't that be great? Oh. Okay, just going to hit this a little bit. Hope it doesn't stick. It's not dry, of course, but woo! It's already cute. Because I had some paint, of course, not cleaned off my stencil. Now that is way wet, way wet. So let me wipe this up. Okay.
So now, what should I do next? Should I spritz alcohol on first, or should I spritz the color on first? Should I still use the alcohol? Hi, Inch. Welcome back. Okay, what did I miss about a hat? Oh, on the other one? Okay, three of this. Okay, three on the same page. We rock. All right, I was. All right, let me go back here. See if I can see what you're saying. Yes, this is what I was thinking. Me too, Dev. Bestie in the world. Stay on the right page. Okay, I missed the part about a hat. I'm not seeing that. I need to need to have a drink here. So what do you think? Spritz it. <laughs> so it was about 20 minutes. Um, uh, drop some alcohol on. Avoid the flowers on top of the flowers. Or like, what do you what are you thinking? What are you thinking? What do you think? What do you think? It's still not quite dry. I can never resist not to touch it. <laughs> that looks, I mean, that looks pure. I mean, cute, not pure. That looks really kind of the way it is all right let's approach it this way let's do now i like that flower best so let's leave him for last i'm going to go down here and i'm going to put um let me put the yellow we'll see what it does Girls, that is really yellow. I need me some more alcohol. Excuse me. All right, so now I'm going to drip in a couple little spots of this magenta. <coughs> Girls, it never fails when I come on. I don't cough all day long. It's starting to look like a crime scene. Yeah, I'm using one of those little pipettes, Laura. One of these little things. It's like a little eyedropper. I wonder what it would do if I... so gingerly right. 
Yeah, you would think Tim would have showed her something. All right, I'm spritzing a little alcohol on my baby wipe. Just trying to hit the top. Oh, look at that. That's kind of cool. For the life of me, I couldn't think of <laughs> I work in the area of how so for good. Well, you know, some days just doesn't come to us. All right, I'm going to drip a little more alcohol on this end, I think. I like to get this to move around the that uh, you know the white stuff. It's not coming to me. See, Laura, you're not alone. The uh, the uh, the uh, the uh, a pipit or a pipet? No. You say pipit, I say pipet. Pip it, pip it. Do, 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 do. It's not really making a much, much of an impact, is it? Do you think it looks like a uh, crime scene or do you think it looks like something on fire? It's hard to get the little, the little drippy dippy out here. A little drippy dippy. You just want a little drip. Oh, I like those little tiny drips. Look at those. Can you see the little rings? Oh, I don't want to do Johnny Cash, but I'm thinking Ring of Fire. Looks like ketchup and ma Oh, Ange. Are you hungry? <laughs> Okay, so down this end, all right, so this end, see, I forgot already. I put the I put the alcohol ink first, right? And then I put the alcohol dripped on top. So this end, let's do the reverse. Let me get my, let me get my little colors to the ready. Don't want to be wasting no time here. No time. Don't want to be wasting. Let's see. Let me put some uh, drip here. I'm going to drip it in the center. Now the alcohol is running. Now, there was no alcohol there. All right, Judy. Whoa. All 
I am liking that other end there. That looks, it really does look cool. Can you see that better as it's drying? And this one. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. The knife, Colin Wallace. And a stream is fun. Not a fun. Stream reamer. Ah. To shoot that. Shoot. Not loading my pipette very, very well. Oh, it's splatted. Splat. <clears throat> hey, Lisa. Well, I've got photograph paper here, Lisa, and I'm playing around with alcohol ink and alcohol. I probably should have drank a little alcohol before I started the project. Ooh. I've got a straw I'm trying to move it around a bit. That's kind of cool. I think I need a little more pink. And then on this end, I put first I put down on this one Lisa I put down um some uh gesso and Deb suggests that I scrape it through a stencil hey Randy and um which was a great idea so I did that let that dry put the ink on and now I'm moving it around a little bit either with more ink or alcohol And then I'm taking and putting puffs of air Oop. overshot that. And then I took a baby wipe on this one end and try to wipe off the top part of the um, gesso. So that looked kind of cool too. I'm going to do that again. You know, basically just making a mess. I like filling in the background here because see then I could use it for some kind of a little <clears throat> thank you card or um, an ATC or something right I like mushing that all around I like doing the mush Let me ask you girls, do you think it's worth buying? It's probably not that expensive. Um, that masking stuff that you can paint on and then peel up. My sister and I were messing around with uh, watercolors. And the one set of instructions said to mask off flower petals. Of course, there's not much I don't have, but I didn't have that. I kind of, I think that looks cool. I mean, there's not much on the camera. It's hard to, well, you can see it a little bit there when I angle it, but in person, it really looks cool. Yeah, I think I like it too, Dev. Okay, so I want to try the same dealio, but 
I want to try it with the um, acrylic. Thanks. All right. So let's use the same stencil. And let me get out some more of my gesso. Now I don't have the same colors, but I have the same color family. I apologize for that art fart. <clears throat> okay. I'll clean up my fingers just a little bit here. And I'm going to move that just a tad. And I'm going to scrape in some more. Okay, you had to Google it's called frisket. What's called frisket? I missed it. I missed the frisket. Please do explain. Sounds like food. A brisket, a frisket. Deb, sometime maybe I'll send you a private message. Oh, the masking fluid. Oh, thanks, Lorsi. Duh. I just thought it was called masking fluid. How do you do your videos and stop? Like, I stopped the video to take a break. I guess I was doing a paper boil or something, right? But it kept running, and it made my video look like it was, like, you know, 17 hours long. But when you girls do it, it doesn't do that. You know, like your video is like 12 minutes. Oh my gosh. I have so much to learn. Okay, so I think I have that on fairly, fairly well. I'm going to hit it with the heat gun just a, just a tad. Just get a task, get a green and a plastic. I'm going to get that. Let me do a little more scrapey, scrapey scrape right here. And then, of course, I'm thinking, what if I put glitter on them? Uh, <laughs> glitter! I love my glitter! It's Nancy Fluid. I just got really cool giving you the name. Oh, thank you, Lori. I didn't know it had a name. It's good to know. Good to... Uh-oh. Houston, we have a problem. There we go. It got stuck. I love the little swirly things. It got stuck in the swirl. The squirrel swirl. Okay, let's pick up this extra yuckiness when you're arting please please try to remain clean at all times keep your surface quite clean okay i hope i didn't stick my thumb in that i film on my phone and then use InShot app to edit it's easy to use but it's time consuming okay thank you they call him Flipper, Flipper. Thanks, Randy. I'll be having these things in my head all day long. All right. So let me put my alcoholies pinkies back in here. Now this is where the pippets are really going to come in handy because my uh, acrylic inks do not have droppers. Okay, we're just gonna let that dry a minute. I know that's really annoying, right? Maybe if I put my if I put my moon head on there, he's not gonna help too much either, I guess. 
All right. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Deb. It's my brain. I don't know. I'm like, I do that all day long. Sad to say. Sad to say. All right. Let's see here. Shall we do the same colors or shall we do something different? These are Echo Line um, acrylic inks. I should put my colors out. Oh, I don't want black. I don't think I want brown. All right, so my yellow is almost gone, but let's have let's have a bit of the yellow. Let's try, I'm going to try to stay in the same color vein so that we can kind of compare. This is an orange. This is let's do the deeper orange. Okay, here we go. Here we go, loop de loop. All right, I'm gonna put some water in this little capper here. Ah! Every time I go in the kitchen, I start singing. If I'm at the microwave or whatever, my poor husband he turns up the TV. I'm like, I'm only here for a second. He's like, why do you have to sing every time you go in the kitchen? I'm like, I'm a happy person. I don't know. What can I tell you? And he loves to sing. He just doesn't appreciate it when he's got the tube on, I guess, you know. Oh, well. Okay, so. I'm going to dry this a little bit more. It's still a little, a little loose. A little loose. All right, so now this is what we did on the photo paper with the alcohol ink. I think that would be fun, making up random songs. And you're leaving again? Okay, hon, we'll see you in a little bit. All righty, bye-bye. All on a Saturday, all on a Saturday, all on a Saturday night. Okay. So I uh, think I started with orange. And then I'm going to hit it with water. Oh, no. Let me put um, and let me put some old yellow in here. Well, even my sister's. Well, my one sister. Oh my gosh, she gets embarrassed so, so easily, and I'm like, we're never going to see those people again. All right, now we need a little water. Woo! That was like a lot of water. Uh-oh. We've got leakage. Well, it runs a lot quicker. It doesn't grip to the photo paper. That's one thing. Where's my little... It doesn't soak into the gesso like the um, alcohol. It's really kind of um, uneventful. It's kind of like blase. I 
Or we're getting a piece of baby wipe here. Whoa. Now it's me. I'm smearing. I'm smearing the. Uh, and I think the um I think the gesso is pretty dry, but it's it's all smeared, which isn't bad. I mean to look at it. Hold on, let me get let me get some more smearage going on here. Actually, it's kind of cool. Well, you know what? It makes me um. Yeah, I guess she did hate that. It's like, Mom! This is um, definitely, a def definitely a different look. But it is kind of cool. Let me put some... I don't have any hot pink in this, but let me put some... Let me put some red on here. I'm going to try to control myself and only have a little dripsy. A little dripsy. Yeah, the gesso definitely moved, but it didn't with the alcohol. So whether the alcohol, like, and I think it was dried about the same, like, well, that's a little tacky there, isn't it? Yeah, I'm not liking this as much. I wonder how it would look if I... Yeah, see, it made that gesso really wet. Hmm. This is a different brand. This is Amsterdam acrylic. Yeah, you take, yeah, one drop really does go quite a ways. Now this this brand has a dropper. Let me just spritz this with just a spray. Now this is the Amsterdam acrylic ink. <clears throat> Now I spritzed it. Now let me drip some, drip some water. Of course, I ran out of paper towels. Let's see here. I got some napkin. Talk about a crime scene. Yeah, you really can't see it too much. Of course, I'm very impatient. You know, God forbid I let it dry. Yeah, I would say that is a hot mess. You know? And then I had this one. Of course, this was with the, um, this one, it's just the one I scraped the, I'm trying to see if I can tell. Yeah, this is the one I scraped the gesso on. I really like that. All right, now here's something else that's different. Well, different to me. A couple of years ago, I wanted to make something for my son-in-law, and uh, he was talking about his mail about the mailbox. So, I bought a big roll of magnetic um, 
a big magnetic sheet. I don't even know what you call that. And I made it. I I made a mailbox cover and I painted on that. But I had a lot left over. Lori always buys too much. So I've got a little end piece here. I mean, I got a big roll of it, but I just found this little one when I was digging through for another project and picking, getting out my little mat things to protect your uh, countertop, you know, little work mat. I found this little roll of magnetic stuff. It's like a sheet. So I'm wondering how the alcohol, how the alcohol hall ink will react on this. Now the question is. Now there's a little scrape there. We're just going to ignore that. Do I put some gesso on this as well in different little spots? Let's see. What do I have here? I have these, I do love swirls. I can do swirls. I've got gear sitting right here. That might be hard to do. Or I can do, I can do these flower. Oh, look, if they, if these turn out, they could be like little magnets. Yeah, they just so definitely reacted differently. Yay! Okay, Judy. Okay, so I still have a little gesso here. Of course, my little pipet rolled into it. I think it could be the chemicals on the photo paper reacting differently. Mm, yeah, it might be. But when I hit the one with the water, it Definitely reacted different. Yeah. Look at these red lips. Look at, well, they're not red yet. <laughs> See, I'm just thinking red. Those little lips. Those little lippies. I'm going to see if I can scrape just those. See, now I got a hole there, too. Hmm. It's probably better if I just do the whole dying thing. Yeah, where's Tim Holtz when you need him? When you need to know about chemical differences. I mean, really. Tim, if you're watching, you could chime in. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a riot? Okay, so this is the it's it's not magnetic tape. It's bi it's bigger than magnetic tape, but it's the same basic idea. It's got magnet on one side and this white surface on the opposite side. And I'm having a hard time filling that gesso in. That's because I keep moving it. Oh, that might be the stencil. I'm trying to fill in the stencil and it's it's not. Oh, Lori. Okay. Then I was thinking, I have this other thing. This is really looks looks terrible because I use it. This is a, a Vicky Booten thing, I think. Yeah, and it's got different edges. It's like a rub, a hard rubber a scraper. You've got a, a short edge, a long edge, and then you've got like a little scalloped edge, and then wide teeth and smaller teeth. So I was thinking I might scrape some of this on too using this to get a different pattern if you will get 
getting down to the bottom of my gesso there. Wow, this really makes a mess, Laura. I hate to waste product, you know, but I guess you're just, you're going to waste some, right? So I'll put that there. I mean, I, I knew exactly what you meant, Devin, when you were using that little, what did you call it? It's like a, that spongy thing to hold paint to put the stamps on, which I really think was a great idea. But just thinking about all the paint that was soaking into that. Okay, here we go. Lori says, <clears throat> Lori, how come you don't have... Oh, it's because... I see. Okay, because I'm looking at you on StreamYard. I didn't see your wrench. Okay. Using alcohol inks on backside of photo paper. Oh. I know, right? I just hate wasting it. And like, in, in especially with my paints... I have tons of it, but that's beside the point. I just hate wasting it. I just, ooh, I don't want to do that. Wait a minute. Let me get my little. Oh, stamp buddy. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Look at me. Girls, I just don't know. I just don't know. I've always, always put my mitt in something. No matter how. I try to be so careful. It's just unladylike. You know what I mean? Oh, I think that looks yummy. Alright, let's try this up. Now, I put this on pretty thick. I should try texture paste. They got us coming and they're going and they're coming and they're going. Look at I got something leaking over here and not something over. My water, I guess. My little, yeah, my little cap of water. Yes, Randy. I hear you, baby. Okay. So what I'm thinking... Let's take a pair of scissors and let's cut this baby. So let me put this off to the side or right above me there. And I can try that more, but let me just give that a moment. Let's get rid of this piece of plastic wrap and then wipe up my little cap of water I knocked over. I'm definitely not a neat nick. That's for dang sure. Okay, so now I did wipe this and clean this with uh, alcohol earlier. You can see I still have some all right, let's do blues and greens. I've got this lovely Baja blue. And I'm not sure I have a lovely green. I've got a rainforest green. That's probably yucky. Let's see what else have I got here? Oh, that's orange. Me gold and white. Well, let's try. And of course, this has got the roll happening here. Deb, you can relay Judy's message to Tim later when you have dinner with him. And Mark. Yes, Dev. And if you don't mind, you can also tell him for me. I thought he was looking pretty spiffy on Saturday. Pretty spiffy. 
oh my gosh i shouldn't watch i shouldn't watch and he was doing a like a product review of new stuff they have coming out and all oh my gosh oh girls all right i'm just doing dots dot dot dots let's let's do let's try to make little flowers let's see what this looks like okay that flower is out of control let's add a little white it's going to be some big old flowers. <clears throat> All right, now I'm going to drip in. Some more alcohol. I'm adding some alcohol to my little container so I can use my pivot. And I'm going to use my straw to do a puff of air. Course I should be more over top of it, I do believe. That little flower got a little cattywonkus. Eee. Lori has dirty fingers. Lori has dirty fingers. Okay, let's smoosh this down. Let's smoosh it down a little bit. Okay, we'll move it back up. Now, what I'm thinking is I'm going to do the green down here and pull them up and try to make them. Dev, I think it's under your elbow on the left hand side. Check there. I'm going to add some of this pink. I've got some of this Senorita Magenta. And then I'm going to drip a little bit of white. I'm going to do it a little more purposeful, purposefully. Oh, I hate, I hate when things get under the fridge. All right, so I'm going to put a little pink flower here. A little drip of white, a little drip of alcohol, and a little puff of air. Now that's just crazy, girls. That is just crazy. Okay, a little drip of pink. little drip of white forgot to load my alcohol there's still some in there and a little puff of air whoa whoa that looks so cool can you see over here i'm afraid to move it because it's not dry yet look it's like a hot pink on top of that blue and where the blue and the pink mix it's like a deep purple okay let me wipe up this over mess this mess here all right now i'm getting carried away okay so i'm going to add another drop of pink let me do pink here a little bit of white because I'm thinking I'm going to add some orange too. I am going to, I am out of control. Oh 
Okay. Sweet beans. All right, let's see. All right, now I'm going to grab some of the Calabaza orange. And I'm going to move back down to this area. And I'm just going to do a little orange there. That orange and blue are probably not going to look so good together. I'm going to put a little white, a little alcohol, a little puff. You know what? I think I want to puff it this way. Yeah, there you're talking. See? I just turned that and it made made all the difference. Why did I cap up the orange again? Someone tell me, please. All right, Dev, don't hit your head. Don't be bumping the noodle. I wish I could get under my desk. Thanks, Judy. Okay, another poof. Uh oh, finger in the way. Yak. Well, I'm thinking a little yellow. Oh, let's use them all. Let's use them all. I'm going to put a little yellow. A little white alcohol puff you can't see that one so much I need something up in this corner let's go yellow well I'll tell you one thing this makes me want to get more alcohol ink shocker It looks really cool on my work surface. Let's put a little drop of pink in that yellow. Just want a smidge. It's hard to get a smidge. Eh, I covered it all up. Eh. It's all right. It's all good. It's all good. Maybe just a little alcohol. Another puff. The colors you get are amazing, really. And I'm sure this is this kit I bought years ago. And it's just, um, you know, basic. It's just got those, what, eight colors or something. If you really knew what you were doing, it probably will look cool to put some um, some black in there. Or, hello, gold! Okay, let's load up the pipette with the alcohol. Straight on alcohol. Then let's get... I don't have much gold here, so let's just see what we got. I'm going to just add a little bit of gold here and there. And then I'm going to add a touch of alcohol to each of those. And then I'm going to puff. I think really if I could just, uh, I can't lean in too much because of the girls, I'm just saying. Yeah, Debbie Epps is cool and she uses, um, she uses her, um, uh, her compressor, her air, her air gun. Oh, 
I definitely need to buy some gold. Yes, airbrush. Airbrush, air gun. Okay, yeah, yeah. All right, so I'm going to hit this just very gingerly. Now, what I'm going to try to do is if I use the yellow and the green I have, I should be able to get some variation as far as grass and leaves, correct? You have one of her alcohol paintings? Oh, that's cool, Judy. I have one of her um, mixed media pieces. Love it. A little sip of water. I think that's orange. Oh, that looks really clean. That must be the white. This must be the white. Okay, cool. All right, so I've got my orange. I'm going to cap that up. So I'm going to use my yellow and my green and see if I can try to create. <clears throat> something that looks like grass or stems. All right. I could drip it in, but I don't want it to go too far. I guess this is where a mask would help, would, would work too, right? Like I could have, I could paint some, some kind of a barrier. I don't want the stems. It's abstract. What kind of, right? It's abstract. All right. So this is rainforest green. It kind of looks like a bluey, a bluey, bluey green to me. I'm going to do just a little section here. Yay, Deb, it's a good day. It's a good day for finding the lid. It's a good day. Five All right, I'm going down. I'm going down. Oh, yeah, where was it? Oops, not going. Nope, 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 nope. I need a smaller straw. Let's use this here. It's here, um, knitting needle. Well, in theory, it seemed like a good idea. All right, let me mush. Actually, you know what? La, la, la. I'm going to get my, I don't think it'll wreck this brush. Oh, this brush doesn't owe me anything. Let's just see. All right, let's do this side. The other thing I noticed that Deb does is when she's putting her paint on her jelly plate. Oh, that looks cool. Um, she does that in a line. You know, like I'm all over the place. She just does a little line at the bottom and she's got so much more control. Just, you know, looks cool. I think I want to mop this up. Oh no, I whacked my, I whacked the thing that's supposed to be drying. We got some uh, gesso in there. Well, these, I don't think these look like flowers anymore. I got too out of control with them. I 
Should have left some white space. Depends on your mood. <laughs> okay, so she put the lid on a water spray bottle you had on your desk. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The first two people I watched, I don't know what GP is. Was Journal Artista and who? I Carl Love. I guess that maybe that is. Well, see, the beauty of this is I can cut this right in half right here. So, I mean, that's, that's not too terribly bad, really. Right? And then I guess you can always go in and, um, like with the permanent marker or whatever, and add stuff. Right? So that's that. I totally forgot about I, oh, I Carly love. Okay, I didn't see the little eye. I watched her too, totally thought Paula was nuts. I <laughs> wasn't familiar with mixed media. I had, I never heard of I Carly love. I'll have to check that. I'll have to check how that out. You think she's still, well, she probably still has her videos on. So this is the magnet strip. Okay, well, let's clean up this. Let's get a little bit of my alcohol. See if we can wipe this up a little better. Squeak, 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 squeak. <gasps> I just flipped it over. Girls, what a goober uber, goober, goober. All right, now I still have this piece of magnet strip that is got the gesso on it. Which, see, I whacked it with the green. Wow, it's really curling. Oh, let's see here. Let's see if my rock will hold it down. No, he's too little. Boy, nothing's heavy enough. Uh-oh. Dog's barking. This means I might be getting a delivery. Why can't the deliveries ever come when the husband's out? Why do they always have to come when the husband's home? Oh, you think it's Terry Love, not Terry? Or oh, I think. All right, let's see here. Well, I wonder if I put. <clears throat> I'm just loving this magenta. I wonder if I put a little dripsy of magenta on this flower. I don't have any red in the alcohol. How can you how can you buy alcohol ink and not have bought a red, Lori? I just I just don't understand. Uh oh, look at it. Look at it. It's going crazy. I'm going to hold this up to my face. And 
Okay, when I think of that little peace sign thing, I think of blue and yellow and hot pink. I don't know why. I just do. I don't know why. I love it like I do. I'm not sure because that would have made me 10 at the time. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, so now she's bragging about how young she is, Laurie. Laurie. I don't know why. I just do, 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 do. All right, use a Q-tip how. I have Q-tips. Cotton swab, cotton bud. I don't know why. Okay. I love when that magenta and that blue mix, it really makes a really neat, neat, neat. Ooh, are you watching? Hey, Peggy, Peggy, hello. Kind of making a hot mess here, Peg. Look, I got me butterfly. Oh. I can't really see it. What if I use the cotton swab to clean off the tops? I really want those lips to be red, but they don't have any red. Let me try Passion Purple. Girl. Passion Purple and some white. Let's see how we can get her looking. Ech. Ech. Whoa, they're really deep purple. I forgot the alcohol. I know, foamies were great, right? Well, I think that looks cool there, but you really can't tell what anything is. Not really. Over here, I streak. Um, the gesso and I have greenish yellow here at the bottom I'm going to put yellow I'm going to put this purple I'm going to put the blue. <laughs> blue. Ruby. And the magenta. I don't know why. What color do I have over here? Oh, that's my forest green. Let's put a little down here. All right, now I'm going to spritz this with the alcohol. Whoa. That's kind of cool. Can you see that? I'm so glad I didn't put on a new nail set. I got to tell you. Okay, so let me take one of my cotton swabs. 
I'm dipping it, dipping it in alcohol. Now that gesso is really thick. It did move that a little bit. <clears throat> and I love the color. Can you see the color it made? Like a hot pink. Dreamy. Dreamy. I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing and I'm tipping my Oh, sorry, Journey. Okay, now let me go back to, let me go back to my little brain check in Hawaii. I never could say that word. I'm taking a piece of baby wipe with little cute bears on it and I'm going to put some alcohol on it my lips are totally lost I use that um, really dark purple put gesso through a, um, a stencil peg and uh, I thought it was pretty dry I felt it was pretty dry it moved a lot more when I used the water the, uh, the um, acrylic and this here is a piece of magnet um, a sheet of magnet stuff But I was also doing stuff on um, on photo paper. I'll show you in a minute. I'm using my handy dandy little stroll. I wonder what would happen here if I spritzed it. Ooh, that looks cool. Let's see if you can see. Light bulb. Okay, let me try something else. Hold, hold it, hold the phone. Hold the phone. What if I, mm, the colors probably would look Let me just try instead of wasting another piece of not that I don't you know what I have enough let me just oh, there's just no room to put everything because I'm messy all right I'm going to cut another sheet in half like so and I'm going to try not to dip it in my gesso. So this is photo paper. Take a piece of the baby wipe. And let's do a little of the dark purple. And a little of the yeller. Old yeller. Judy, you're very popular. I can't believe Angie hasn't come back. All right, so let's make some splots.
Man, that purple's really dark. It doesn't look like purple. It says passion purple. It looks like, oh, uh, maybe because there's some yellow in it. All right, so I'm going to scrub this color around. That looks totally gross. Totally, totally. All right, so let's get some magenta. By the time I'm done this, I'm going to need new colors. I'm just saying, girls. Just saying. And the Baja Blue. I'm not a very good dripper. They call me the dripper. Crime scene. Oh, Peg, you should have seen earlier. I'll have to show you some of the crime scene stuff. Woo! I'm too heavy handed. I'll say that. And that is true in a lot of areas of my art. My sister and I were doing um, watercolor. I'm definitely, definitely very heavy handed with watercolors. When I did this with um, the gesso, it moved around the, the uh, photo paper better. Could be my imagination. Just my imagination. Okay, let me put a little alcohol on here, Lori. Maybe that was, maybe that was the ticket. Okay, I'm doing this all because I want to get more of those like little cell looking things, you know? When I spritzed that other paper. Wow, this is really Uggs. This is really Uggs. Let me see if I can remove some of that purple. Maybe I should put a little white. You can see the purple now. I can see clearly now the purple's gone. Ooh, ooh. Oh, I love the white and that pink, that magenta. Love it. That one looks cool. That looks cool right there. Looks almost like sea foam. Look at that one. All right, so I wonder if you have to buy this stuff in kits or if it's just, um, or if you could buy, you know, colors individually. And pick out the colors that you want. <laughs> Sympathy, yes. Okay, so where's my gold? I don't have much, but let's let's get a little gold on this hot mess. Oh, look, there looks like a little spot I didn't blast. Gold helps everything in the wide world. Yeah, we're about out of this. We're about out of this, kids. I'm going to pop the cork. I'm going to take this little out. And squirt some more alcohol in there. It 
won't be as concentrated, but I might be able to get a little more out of it. Oh, yeah, babe. Oh, yeah, babe. Probably won't be able to see the cells because after I get messing around, there's not going to be much space left. I can't ever leave well enough alone. I need to practice my straw puffing abilities. Not lightheaded, which usually happens when I blow up a balloon. All right, I'm going to spritz. All right. Here we go. Mm. Angie Brown, I just said I can't believe she's not back yet. There you are. Hello, hello. Okay. Not doing it this time. Maybe, oh yeah, there you go. As it's drying, it's not really freezing, but I'll show you in a minute. For a couple of seconds. I'm going to spritz it some more. I need a um, a more a uh, container with more of a fine sprayer to get that look. That's cool. I like that. So if I chop this up, you know, I could use it for something. And that's really not white there, but I'm not getting the I just love the way it looks so shiny. So there's that. This was the first mess. <clears throat> okay, thanks, Dev. Have a good afternoon. This was the first mess. And I think if I wet this down with some alcohol, I can smear that around and do something with that. And then I did this. Which this is kind of cool. But I don't like all this white space. To be able to cut that up and use it for like say little thank you little thank you cards so i think i'm going to add some more <clears throat> color maybe on my um, baby wipe and smear that around but i think that one's cool i think that one turned out okay and then we tried gesso on photo paper and this was the um which one was that oh this is the alcohol ink the gesso on the alcohol ink this definitely needs some gold this one peg or this one we saw a um Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bird beak like right there. Boop, boop. 
So I thought, think this is cool, but I think if I add some gold, it'll look even better. And then we tried, I say we, we tried gesso on photograph paper with acrylic ink. And that just seemed to really deteriorate the gesso more than the alcohol ink did. So that's, that's a bust. And then we did, I did this one. This is, I scraped on some gesso on this one <clears throat> and then did the pinks and I think some orange maybe because it made a deeper pink and then added some gold. And then I used a, a knitting needle to kind of scrape that gold out. I might spritz that. And then we did, 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 did try to make a flower bed. This is magnetic a sheet of magnetic paper it's not paper it's tape it's not tape either because it doesn't stick it's just magnet and then like vinyl i guess on this side so i was trying to make like a flower patch maybe this side looks like a flower patch this side not so much and then i did some gesso on the magnet stuff made some striping there and then did a stencil yeah they could be kisses sure yeah so that was that's different I'll have to see how the hubby reacts if I you know cut that down and put it on the refrigerator i guess i could run i guess i could really run this through because it's not very thick maybe my die cutter and cut out um a little image and use it for a magnet that might be cute i have to do that and then i did a zine which um picked a number 18 i think it was off my list of zines oh thanks Lori. thanks peggy and the theme was cat so this is you know this is kind of <laughs> used a piece of printed um digi paper you know that i printed cool cat there's something fishy about this and then we just have this little kitty in the garden and this kitty after a mouse who didn't have an ear for a very long time. And then the big smile, the big old smile. All right, kids, I'm going to go. Thanks for joining me. Oh, and we did work on, I'm trying to work out a calendar of when people stream and their time slots. So I'm going to, and put this in you know in the computer and type it up and, and have it look a little better than this so you can really read it and then figure out how i can upload it onto my community tab and then i can always um thanks Lori. <clears throat> oh hi lovely lovely i'm just getting ready to cut out uh but thanks for popping in so what else do i need to tell you today is sunday so Murray will be on this evening. The market weekend just ended. We had a good time with that. Um, I plan to stream again next Thursday morning. And hmm, I feel like there's something I'm missing telling you. Anyway, ladies, thanks for joining me. It was fun messing around with some alcohol ink. So I'm going to have to maybe get a few other colors and definitely get some gold. All right. So I guess that's it for me. We'll wrap things up. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks, Lori, Peggy, Barbara. You stayed in trouble. And... Oh, and if everybody likes to check out and, and check out uh, Angie's picture, 
Oh, Jacqueline, hi. You're lovely, Jacqueline. I keep forgetting that. Thursday morning, 9.30. Unless Mary runs a little late, 9.30, quarter to 10, something like that. I, I'm trying to pop on then. And uh, I think that's it, ladies. So thanks so much. Don't forget. Take time to be creative and enjoy the journey. And I'll see you on the next stream or video. And I promise my nails will look a lot better. <laughs> Bye, ladies. Have a good afternoon. Maybe I'll see you at Murray's later tonight. Take care. Bye-bye.